Okay guys, I'm here today with a new series I want to try out for at least Battlegrounds for right now. And for right now, I'm still working on the name, I'm going to call it All-Star Sets right now. Maybe we all have those meta sets and stuff, but I want to try out some of these sets that don't get much love, that don't get used to a lot. And today, I'm going to be trying out the Way of Fire set. The Way of Fire gets weapon damage, max dam, weapon crit, and a 20% chance on weapon damage abilities to deal flame damage every 2 seconds. So we're going to give this a try on some deathmatch. Hopefully this works decently enough. Good try. Um, I'm trying to decide if I just want to do sets for this series or maybe I might also try some like... I don't know, maybe some crazy builds or something. I don't know, I'm going to work it out. I'm just going to get this series a little bit of a test run here. And just come up with some different ideas. Just to see some different things than this typical stuff that everyone already sees. Like, I'm sure we're all tired of seeing, you know, those typical shackle breaker and bone pirate and seventh legion, blood spawn. You know, all that just typical stuff. And we're trying all kinds of different monster helms. IP sets, maybe some of the three piece stuff. I don't know. So it's now pretty much I'm only gonna get way of fire to go off on either reverb or heroic slash. This is my only two uh, damaging uh, weapon damaging abilities. So far, not too bad. Oh, okay. Pulled me to you. <laughs> okay. Hi. Well, I don't know what that guy's master plan was. I love that he pulled me to him and then instantly decided to run away. So many times. Alright, well, I just did a whole bunch of damage to that guy. Watch out for the guy that's pulling us in. <laughs> right, let's see if I can get close to these range guys. Dang! Yeah, there, there you go. All these dang night blades trying to fear me and go invis. Oh, oh no! Nope. You super. I mean, ultimate. <laughs> Playing too much of destiny. All right, all right, let's let's just get out of here. One second. See if we can get back into battle here. Oh. Come on, Leap. Don't glitch out on me. Dang, Leap. Leap is so glitchy sometimes. Alright. We're doing good so far. I'm not exactly sure how much Wayfire is actually helping. It might be helping a little bit, though. Alright, alright, let's see. I, I think it's doing some damage. I don't... I don't know how much this would actually do in like open world, but... I don't know, I guess it's not too bad in BGs. 
But I don't know. Definitely don't think it's all that useful here. Which is a little depressing. I kind of like the idea of the build. It's a little too proc city though, I guess. Prox is kind of a back stigma. After how, how, after how much they used to get used all the time. It's always Viper and Trimmer Scale and Selene and all that stuff. Luckily, that all got nerfed. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I just found their entire team right there. So, what am I going right now? Nine one six. Okay, not too bad. I definitely just, <laughs> definitely just think that uh, running pretty much anything else here, that's fire would be, or bear, maybe like shackle breaker or something. Just so I guess is what I usually run for BGs. But I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's all that bad. I definitely think it's a nice little bit of damage. But if I was gonna run a prox it. I don't know if this would exactly be it. I feel like something like Afflicted, which I will probably also be testing at some point, or even Viper would probably just be better. Alright, let's see if we can get back in here. It does add a little bit of extra damage, so, though, which is nice. Alright, this guy's just fast. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I actually hit him on that, uh, I can't think of what that ability is called. Off the top of my head. Alright. I don't know where these guys are. Alright, there you go. Alright, where, where is... All these other guys. The other teams are, they're all still here. They must be fighting somewhere, like in front of someone's base. Oh, here's the other guy. Oh, it's the Black Killjoy guy again. Dang, that hits so far away. <laughs> Man, we got some archers on our team. Look at them go. Look at those guys go. Alright, well. Now, from my understanding with the way of fire, though, I'm going to take a quick break here. It doesn't say anything about melee damage, so I believe this would also proc on, uh, like, poison arrow, or poison injection, I mean, snipe, anything like that. Which could actually, maybe be better, maybe I should have ran that instead. Stabby here. Oh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have ran him <laughs> battle right there. <laughs> I was, I was a solo. <sighs> I should have popped a potion too. I just, I don't know. I just didn't feel like using up a potion, especially since we're we got a decent little leader right now, so. Oh, that already about die. Alright, let's see if we can get back in here. See if I can play a little bit, a little bit better here. I figured that guy would probably be by that guy. And I guessed correctly. Give me that killing blow. I will say that the fire, though, definitely does give. Uh, it does give a nice little damage boost to your uh, combo of uh, the light attack heroic slash animation cancel bash. Or however you want to call it. Uh, 
I really gotta try out like a <laughs> bow build in BGs here. But man, there are so many people just running around with their bows. Laid back Loki. Nigga. Dang guy in his invis. You know, I really like Corian Armor better than Volatile, but man, sometimes it's nice going against night plays just to have Volatile and just knock him out. It's a nice way to get him out of stealth on both bars. So you're just gonna chill up there now, purple guys. Oh wow, they actually get <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Don't care. Uh, all chilling up there. If they want to come down here and fight me though. That would be fine. They just actually got I guess fire would also activate on my execute. This could actually come in handy too. I'm still being uh, still being stubborn and not using my potions. Like I said, I don't know. I don't feel like wasting my potions on this match or in just about her. So yeah, I don't know. Now that I just I don't know I didn't think about fire also working on execute. That might actually be not too bad in BGs here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I like it a little more. Okay. Hey there, team. <laughs> they set a trap for me up there. Now, definitely my biggest thing that I don't like to use on. Well, biggest reason why I don't like to use proxy to set. I like to play defensive and it definitely doesn't give me anything defensively as far as like healing or anything like that goes. Which is kind of a big, uh, kind of a big drawback to me. Oh wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, the extra damage is nice. But, like, sh she just saw there, it's like, I don't know. It's not always gonna activate. I Maybe mean, that's kinda nice on execute. Ah, it's just too too much RNG there. Sometimes just having the extra damage or stats to just, I don't know, get extra damage off of Dragon Leaf would just be better. So yeah, this game's just about over here in any second now. I definitely don't think we're gonna say that this is an all-star set. I definitely don't think it's a terrible set though, so I don't know if I'd say it's a dud. Alt, help with all this kill. 
So yeah, still ended up going 16, 6, 14 with it. I think that was mostly because I was still running Blood Spawn in 7th. And honestly, I think against these guys, I probably would have done a lot better if I just wasn't running fire. Like I said, the, it's not a bad, not too bad of a proc set. Still don't really run it. Run it. I definitely think there are better proc sets than this one, but you know, if I can put it in the middle, it's not awful, not good. Just it's just kind of there. Still don't really suggest it though. So yeah, that's gonna be the first episode. Uh, I got a couple more ideas for other sets I want to try out next, but I just wanted to at least get one out here, just I don't know, see how it does, and see if there's any interest in something kind of like this. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you liked the video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. It would really mean a lot, and I got a lot more videos coming up. Hope everyone has a great day, and remember to have fun.